How are we going everybody? Now today has been a gloriously warm day for spring and that's what we want, summer weather in springtime so our plants can grow big, strong and healthy. And I thought I'd get out there and start watering my plants, in particular these trees here along the dam that I planted. If you remember in the previous episodes or uh, little filmings that we've done, I planted maples and olive trees alternating. Now, I've, I've spoken about mulching and the importance of mulching in your vegetable garden, your flowering garden beds, no matter what type of garden or plant you have. But I, in particular here, haven't had the chance to mulch these plants. And I don't remember actually watering them after I planted them. I was gonna do some EcoBoost and Liquid Gold and I didn't do it, and I reckon it's been about three weeks, probably, three weeks that I didn't water, but we did have admittedly some good days of rain. So these got their water back then, but I did come out earlier today to water these. And if, I could show you down here. This is the moisture that I've added. I'm not sure if you can tell, you can see the water line here. Now, what am I talking about here? There's no mulch. That's my topic. If you don't mulch your garden beds on high windy days and warm days, spring or even when summer kicks in, especially when summer kicks in, this surface is gonna crust over. Now, I've actually come to a tree that's not too bad on the surface. I've hydrated this a little bit, it's penetrated. But what happens when you don't mulch your garden bed and you've got a sandy or clay base, predominantly clay base soil? Let me show you over here. Because it gets worse. Have a look at this. This is a garden bed that I, I'm gonna sit down here because I'm gonna enjoy it cast a bit of shadow over here so you can see it. Have a look at this surface here. And we've got weeds and everything going on in here. I've mounded up the soil here because I probably couldn't dig. I can't remember if I could dig deep enough in here to get the plant any lower. It's an olive tree. It's tolerant to dry, harsh conditions, as we all know. It's an olive tree. But let's say it was another tree that doesn't tolerate harsh conditions like the olive tree does. See how this is all... How do I explain it? It's actually moist now. I should have done this before. Well, let me just show you the sides here. Have a look at this. Look how hard that, I'm breaking that away. Look at this, this is crusting over. Even though there are cracks in the soil, that's from the high wind pressure pushing the tree because that's where the wind comes from, from this direction. It's cracking over here. And when I go to water it, what happens to the water? Do you think it actually penetrates through? I don't know. I watered probably about five, six litres of water on this tree. Two applications of about two or three litres each time. It's got an in. We're lucky enough it's actually moist underneath now. So it has penetrated through in this case because we've taken our time to hydrate it. But I can guarantee you more times than not in situations like this where there is no mulch, you'll find when you're adding water, it doesn't penetrate through. It'll actually wash away. You'll find the cracking over the surface, it becomes inert, and it means the tree doesn't grow and doesn't get the hydration it needs to grow, especially during summertime. So make sure that you start mulching your garden beds from now. Get your garden beds, whether they're trees or flowering plants or even just vegetables, get your mulch into your garden bed so that the moisture stays within, below, and the microbes can live freely. Without the microbes in the soil, your garden bed is it's not alive. It won't be alive, your trees won't be able to thrive. Mulching is so important. No matter what you add into your garden bed, always put a blanket over the top. And you wanna know why I haven't mulched them yet, folks? Because I spent the last two days, no I didn't, I spent the last two weeks preparing garden beds and mulching 400 trees somewhere else on this property. Yeah, <laughs> they're due to get them mulched soon, so by the end of next week they'll be mulched as well. And irrigated, because they need a drip system.